Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm going to show you how I'm going to, well I have modified the battery bay already on my um, X380 transmitter. I'm going to show you how I did it to accommodate this battery which is a 7.4 volt 2800 mAh 40C battery instead of having six AA batteries in the compartment. So, main advantage of, of this particular battery, and I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can get this, is the dimensions and size. So, if we have a look at the length, it is basically nine, nine centimeters. We look at the uh, width is 4.3 centimeters and we look at the height so let's just get this correct which is about 1.2 centimeters okay so in terms of size it actually fits in here quite nicely it has, it, need, it has a JST connector and as you can see here I have already um, put a J, JST female uh, connector on here already so for this you'll obviously need a, a star or Phillips screwdriver and you need to remove the four screws at the back here okay so two on the top there and two on the bottom here you'll also need a pair of long nose pliers well I'll show you the way I do it you might find another way uh, to remove the um, partitions uh, between the AA batteries you'll, you'll also need to a Stanley knife or a hobby knife you will need uh, a JST uh, female connector so that's the one that go, goes in there for the male JST to connect on here and you can solder the wires together or you can just join them together and it's best to use a bit of, of, of shrink wrap um, you cut it and then put it over and heat it up so that the two connectors don't make connection so yes yeah, so if we basically open this up now and we have a look inside over here So this is where the battery connects onto the main board and you have these uh, the positive wire and the negative wire. Now these were previously joined the positive to this point over here and the black negative to that point there. Now you have two options you could still leave these in and splice the JST into this so you have the option to revert to the AA use the AA batteries or, or a single LiPo battery but I as you can see I've opted to, to just connect this one straight so already if you, if you look closely where this is going in here there is a, 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 a tiny hole so you just need to put something into it and make it a little bit bigger and then um, from from the other side feed the feed the this this through from underneath so if we take the, this hole for example over here you know that would feed through that there's a little one like I say there you just need to make that a little bit bigger you need to cut the wires and join the wires and as I say you, you can either tie them quite tightly together and use shrink wrap 
so you can see I've got red shrink wrap there and I've got black shrink wrap there to keep them separated and once you've done that put it back together again get it on okay now to um, get rid of the partitions as you can see I've already got rid of four of them and I'll show you how I did the last one you take the Stanley knife or the hobby knife and press down and you want to get it right down to the bottom on both sides so if you can see there we're nearly there and we do it on this side as well Cut it down as far as I can get it. This one's being a little bit stubborn, so just bear with me. this one down a little bit further as well okay then you take the long nose pliers just slowly start bending it one way the other way so we just want to work it loose and back again I'm going to do it this way around now this one's being a little bit more difficult the others came off a little bit easier And then finally, as you can see, the partition comes off. I have got a little bit to more to get off of here. I'm just going to take the knife. Like I say, you might find a different way of doing it, but I've chosen to do it this way. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now the tricky bit is we've got to try and fit this on and in because it's almost the right dimensions going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze but get that in there now push up so 
So yes, it's a little bit tight, but eventually you get it in. And as you can see, it fits quite nicely and flat. You just need to make sure you get these wires tucked away and then just slide this back cover back on here. Oops. Need to get it down in this corner. And that's it. Power it on. There we go. All working well. 8.3 volts. So yeah, the reason I did this is I don't like messing around, uh, you know, with so many little AA batteries. Also, if the transmitter and I do any further modifications, needs a bit more power, there's plenty and more than sufficient power for it to draw on uh, with the LiPo battery. And I feel like I get better um, life and also better quality and balance uh, from the LiPo battery. So, thank you very much for joining me. Cheerio.